Okay, in this video we're going to demonstrate how to straighten a warped cylinder head. So this cylinder head here is warped, and it's, it's warped like this. So when you put a straight edge across it, it's warped, and it's warped about 15 thousandths of an inch in the center. So it's shaped like a, a potato chip a little bit. So what we're going to do to straighten that is we've got this uh, big solid piece of steel here. We're going to put the cylinder head on that with some shims. We took some shim stock and uh, cut some strips. Each of these is about two, two and a half thousandths of an inch. So together, if I measure it right, together they're about uh, seven thousandths of an inch. So about half of the fifteen thousandths that the head is worked. So we'll put uh, some of those on each side. And then we're going to put bolts down the center. Okay. And once the bolts are in, we're going to install nuts and washers on the back, on the bottom. And we'll tighten down those, uh, we'll tighten down those bolts until they're really tight so that we're pushing the, the cylinder head down in the opposite direction. And then what we're going to do is take this and put it in the oven, 500 degrees for five or six hours, and then we'll let it cool down in the oven before we undo it, and then we'll take it out and measure and check. Sometimes we have to do this more than once. The first time it may take some of the warpage out, but not all, and then we can do it again. And then once we're down to about uh, one to two thousandths of an inch, and we want to check on top, so where the, the camshaft sits, that's the most important part to have straight. This part down here can be machined to be straight, but the camshaft bores need to be aligned perfectly, so we'll check. And once we're down to you know less than about a thousandth of an inch, then we can send the head out to have it machined, resurfaced, and uh, should be okay to put back in the surface. So now we're going to load this cylinder head into the oven. Close the door, and we're going to set it at 500 degrees. that for about uh, five to six hours. And we'll let it cool off in there. So now we've taken the uh, cylinder head out of the oven. We've actually uh, had to bake it twice. After the second time, we're checking it for straightness. We're checking the top because again the cam bores are what really matter. And uh, in this case, we can't actually set the straight edge in the cam bores, but we can set it on top, which should be just as true. And the uh, one and a half thousandths feeler gauge doesn't fit in between any of them. So we straighten this out enough that we can uh, use this. Now, if we flip it over, we'll find out that probably the underside is still warped a little bit, but that's okay. We can have that uh, machined to make the underside uh, straight. It's the cam bores that we were concerned about and we accomplished our objective.